job here. It was old electric heater because they have no gas in this area. They had no way to do, heat the water. It usually goes right into this electric heater, just destroying it. So what I did is pump set up to a heat exchanger. But now I'm placing this unit is I'm going to put two pump system so we get even more flow. Way there, you always try to improve. pressure switch, my Johnson control pressure switch. It's gonna come back. If it's made, it's going to my G of my fan center, as you see. And from that fan center, I'm going to power up my relay. So for my G, it's gonna power up my coil. The common is gonna go back to my fan center. Then on the normally open side, I'm going to splice the flow switch. So when this is made, my heater will come on. Custom little setup. contact it's coming back from my dry contact through that pressure switch back to the G the G is coming to my coil it's energizing my coil with my common I broke the normally open flow switch to make the unit come on so if I'm calling for heat my pressure switch is made my flow switch is made this unit will come on Let's give it a try. Let's turn it off. All right, guys, another job done. We had a few issues here. First issue, customer asked me what they could do because these heaters not take the hard water. So 
So what I did is a heat exchanger setup. Now that I changed this heater, I made a two pump system, more flow, more heat. I'm not using my temperature sensor in the unit. I want to communicate with my heat pump. So I installed a relay, I got a pressure switch, my fan center, so when there's a call for auxiliary heat, my pumps come on and my unit comes on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.